Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Maximizing and welcome to a new game called Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. This is a new game that was recently released on Steam. A lot of you guys have probably already seen footage on it though because about a month ago the developers started giving out keys and uh, early access codes to streamers and YouTubers. So there's been a lot of footage that has been going around the internet for about a month now. The developer of this game is the same guy that made the game Quop, which was a sort of free-to-play desktop game that was made a long time ago. I remember playing it in high school. It was very popular just because of how challenging the controls were and if any of you guys know me you know I hate games where the controls are absolutely horrible because they're so hard to get used to games like Quop, I am bread surgeon simulator all those games their controls are just so horrible in them that it just makes it rage inducing in itself just because of the controls if you can't even do what you want to do or what the objective is just because of the controls you know it's a rage inducing game and so this game is no different apparently it is a very challenging game just because it's it's difficult just to move in itself and you're supposed to scale an entire mountain with this thing. Some people are calling the hardest game of 2017 even though we already had Cuphead earlier in the year. Some people are saying this game is harder than Cuphead. Even though it's a lot more simpler of a game it's just climb a mountain. That's it. There's no levels or anything like that. It's one whole game. It's one whole level and people are literally losing their minds over this game. And so without further ado, let's get into getting over it with Bennett Foddy. And here we are. Um... Anyone else get turned on by that? All right, so I guess we move just like this. Okay, duh. Whoa. <laughs> so we move by just dragging ourselves around with this. I was wondering because I've seen people play this game, but I don't really know how the controls work really. So obviously you can see the little circle is our mouse and that's that's all we move with. It's just the mouse. That's the only way we move around. It's just weird to get used to the controls because I don't know if there's any grip really. It looks like they're is maybe I, I i can't really tell if there's any grip to the actual thing itself or maybe it just no uh, okay well we're doing something but the main point of this game and why it's so rage inducing is just because that there is no checkpoints in this game the game will save where you are at right now if you want to take a break and so if i saved right now i would be right on this tree branch but say i fell down like that it will save right there. And so just for example, if I came back, I'd be right here. There's no checkpoints in the game at all. So you could be on the top of the mountain, you could fall all the way back down to the start, and you would have to start right back there. There's no checkpoints whatsoever in this game. I'm really determined to beat this game though, because I do enjoy a challenge in video games. It's just, uh, <gasps> nope. Uh, don't. Stop. I'm not moving my mouse at all. He's just, the controls, dude. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. <laughs> if you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. Okay, if I'm you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend <laughs> and then later discovered <laughs> it turned to their original view. <laughs> starting over is harder oh! than starting. Oh! If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. No. Nah. Feel free to go away. I'm no casual. Back. I am no casual gamer. I'll have you know, Mr. Bennett Foddy. All right. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me on this trip. No problem, man. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. I don't need no fucking Just breaks. find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Okay. And don't worry. I'll save your progress always. Even your, Even mistakes. your mistakes. Yeah, I've heard this shit. Okay. Come on. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002 okay, careful, called huh? Sexy Hiking. And... The author of that game was Jazzor, a mysterious Czech designer you who was known at the time as the father of B games. And B games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. <clears throat> they're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Gee, fuck. So they're just made by assholes, is what you're telling me. What? Yeah, fucking hell, dude. You guys have no idea, like, how hard the controls are with this shit. Like, it makes no sense. Like, the it, whatever you guys think is the way I'm moving this mouse, it's completely different. It's completely mm. the other way you think it is. It's like, the circle, your cursor, is like the gravity of the, the center of your character. It's so weird. It's like you don't have control of your character. You only have control of the end of his stick. And so you, it's so fucking weird. Like swinging him around is not like how you might think it is. Like I was watching this game for a few hours the other day watching people stream it and it's not like how you would think it is at all. 
Or it's not how I thought it was anyway. Nope. Don't you fucking dare. Okay, dude, I, I don't understand how this works. Like... Oh, I just lost a lot of progress. Shut up. That's a deep frustration. A real punch in the gut. Yeah, no, I'm already back up here, fucker. Like, I don't know what you want me to do, dude. I honestly thought that after watching hours of YouTubers and streamers play this, I might be able to get through this shit a little bit easier, but it's not It's not happening. I'm gonna beat this game, though. I'm, I'm telling you guys right now, this might... I don't care if we have to go to 100 episodes in this series. I'm not quitting this game until we beat it. It can't be that fucking hard. <laughs> you fucking... Oh, sorry. Oh! Fucking tree branch, dude. <laughs> Okay, just be careful. No! Okay. What? <laughs> you oh, fucking... happened again. <laughs> Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. You f shut. The we just gotta take it nice and slow. I see way too many people just rush into this game, and they, they f most of their failure is just because they rush into it. So we just gotta take it nice and slow, right? In a certain way, sexy hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. What the fuck are you talking it's about? It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. Yeah. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. <laughs> Are you fucking... No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Here we go! No! You're... Ten dollar shoe fits my feet. Ten dollar shoe fits my feet. And I ain't going to be treated this away. Going where the weather suits my clothes. Going where the weather. Hey, hey. What the fuck was that? <gasps> anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest Why of the Why are game. you telling me this? It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them, once you have the correct method, or the correct equipment, or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in- Oh, oh, this is what we want. Okay, can I? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. No, don't you fucking dare. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Now how do we get? But I'm not sure Jazzo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name's fucking. Can you not, dude? Like, if I if I fall over that right there, if I fall over that, I go all the way back down. And I'm not trying to do that shit right now. So I'm just trying to be as careful as I can here. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, fuck. When you're building a video game world. You're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You're building Mold with your the fiery depths of hell. You realize that? that? With. And in the process of playing with them, <coughs> they begin to harden <coughs> and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Okay. Okay. No. Pull yourself up on that. Can I rest on that fucking... <coughs> You've... Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> oh my god, my butt cheeks look like fucking- Pretty sure my life just flashed before my eyes there. Sit your ass down! Thank you! For fuck's sake! And I can't- Of course I can't reach that. You fuck. You've done this part before. You know it's possible. 
Just do what you did the first time. Uh, I have not done this part before. What the fuck are you talking about? It's like this this whole slope is so slippery. Why? You f oh, I can't fucking... <gasps> Yo! Okay, okay. I've already been recording for 30 minutes. I'm obviously going to cut a lot of this stuff out, guys. But I, there's... Uh, like, I, I'm going to cut so much of this shit out. Like, I'm probably going to try to make every episode around 10 to 20 minutes long. But, like, I'm going to be playing for at least two hours in every episode. Stop! Oh. I can't fucking... You... Oh my god, fuck it, stop. I can't, what? I can't reach that far, man. Like, it won't go up. It won't go up. What the fuck do you want me to do? It won't go up. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. He, he. Okay, if I fuck up here, you guys have no idea how far I'm gonna fall. He. <laughs> My hands are so fucking sweaty. And... Mm. For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects, bought in a store, and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened. Because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or Your that they're badly trash. made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. Okay, how do Over I... Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. <laughs> it now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium. The lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash. But only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music. B movie? B philosophy. I like B movie. You like jazz? Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash. The ash heap of creativity's fountain. Mm, okay. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. I don't want to go down there. What the fuck's down there? There's 3D models of breakfast, Gen X's fanfic novels, Scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned snuff scenes on Live League, Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed GIFs, Russian dashcam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, <laughs> forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, rotten, untitled. <laughs> Everything's fresh for about six seconds until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh. And there's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style, out of sight. In this context, it's tempting to make friendly content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it but not earn it. Why make something demanding if it just gets piled Stop up? Stop talking. In the land, Stop talking, filed. Bennett. <laughs> <sighs> My heart can't take this shit, man. This game could actually kill someone. Bennett, do, do you realize that? You've created a game that could actually uh, fucking no. kill someone? <laughs> what? Yeah! What? Bennett, what are you doing? Do Holy fuck! Cheney. <laughs> hey, don't break the fucking expensive equipment, Max. It's just a game. <laughs> it can't fucking hurt you. <laughs> if you need to take a break, it's okay. Yeah, you saved your fuck focus. Up. You've saved my progress, yeah, right where I am right now. <laughs> Thanks, Bennett, you're a fucking awesome man. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh, yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh, yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that's just, that's just fucking odd. Awesome. Fuck it, let's just go back to the fucking beginning. Hell yeah, dude. We're literally where I was 30 minutes ago. 30 fucking minutes ago. I just realized by the character model doing this, it all makes sense now. Bennett Foddy was a professional flag twirler in high school that got made fun of, and this is his way at getting back at the world. It's pure genius. <laughs> yeah. I need some fucking inspirational music here. so in sync with the beat too that was fucking amazing <laughs> the fuck is that there's a little boy up there boy all right so i guess we have to go over to the boxes over there i can't imagine we have to go up by the kid so it's okay whoa i actually did what i was supposed to do there holy fuck what the fuck I just used all my luck on this game in one fucking spin right there. I am go I'm gonna have the worst time for the rest of this fucking video. So now we gotta grip those stairs. You have to like hang yourself. Oh, the down. pain I feel now is the happiness I had before. That's the deal. C.S. Lewis. My name's Bennett Foddy. I can put quotes in my game to make it seem like it has meaning. <laughs> fucking umbrella. It was at this point that the patient started exhibiting signs of insanity. <laughs> 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 